factorize completely. Notice that we have xy plus 3y minus 2x minus 6. And so here we're going to factorize this, but we're going to factorize these two terms, and then we're going to factorize these two terms. Notice that y is a factor of this term, and y is also a part of this term as well. So we factor out y. And when we factor out y, we are left with x plus 3. And so we and the reason why we know that, and the reason why we know that we have x plus 3 left is because y times x is xy and y times 3 is 3y. Now, when we come to this particular expression, we factor out negative 2. And so when we factor out negative 2, we are left with x plus 3. And that's because negative 2 times x is a negative 2x, and negative 2 times positive 3 is a negative 6. And so this expression here, this expression at the bottom is the factorized form of the expression at the top. And this expression at the bottom is the factorized form of this expression at the top. But notice that we have x plus 3 in this particular term, and x plus 3 is also in this particular term. And so that means that x plus 3 is the common factor of these two terms. So we factor out x plus 3. And when we factor out x plus 3, we are left with y minus, we are left with y minus 2. And so we have y minus 2. And so that means that the final answer is x plus 3 multiplied by y minus 2. And that's the answer to this particular expression. And so we factorize completely, and this is our answer.